Hello YouTube! Recently, the topic of micro jumps has come back to the forefront in terms of suggestions for Beyond 2.4, and I have to say that I agree with having micro jumps integrated into the game under certain circumstances. Now, the opposing to this viewpoint or the opposition view is that if you remove super crews from the game, that basically means interaction and cuts down on PvP. While that is all true, at the same time, there's a lot of players out there that level the accusation that Elite Dangerous doesn't respect their time, especially people who don't have hours upon hours each week in order to play the game. And that is also a fair point, especially given that loading screens tend to be 50, to 50 seconds to a minute long, and if you have to jump 30 times, that means that you're essentially spending 30 minutes in front of loading screens. And I can understand where people are coming from that. Where I think there's a middle ground to be struck here is dealing with star systems that have multiple stars, either by being able to choose which star that you wish to jump to in some sort of drop-down menu if there's multiple options available. So if you say hyperspace to this star over in the nav panel, maybe you get the option of star A, star B, star C. Or once you're in the system to the main star where you arrive at the nav beacon, then you can choose to do a micro jump if the star is, say, more than 10,000 light seconds from the primary star. Maybe that's 27,000 light seconds, but what this would eliminate is those trucks where you jump into a system and then the next star over where you have to go that actually contains the planets and the station and the population is something like 300,000 light seconds away. Because one of the charges level is then you're basically flying in a straight line for 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes with nothing going on unless you happen to be interdicted by an NPC or another player in that area, which usually doesn't happen. So it's 30 minutes of flying in a straight line, basically achieving nothing in game. And I can sort of understand where those people are coming from. So I think that supporting some sort of micro jump for distances beyond, I don't know, 20,000 light seconds from a star should be something that should seriously be looked at as a quality of life improvement in looked at being seriously added to the game post 2.4. That wouldn't eliminate super crews because even if you jump to say star B in that system and the station is 1200 light seconds from that star, well you're still having to engage in super cruise travel which allows people to interdict you, either PVP or NPCs, and doesn't eliminate super crews as a mechanic as opposed to jumping straight to the station that you want to go to. Would. So that's kind of my thoughts on where they should go when it comes to the super, or, uh, the micro jump and super cruise debate or versus super cruise. Because originally, if you look at some of the original gameplay, I don't say gameplay trailers, but some of the cinematic footage, they kind of were going to go with this jump point to point jump mechanic. And people during the early parts of the alpha said, you know what, we like it better if we could fly around and then they develop super cruise around that in response to community feedback at the time from alpha backers. And I'm still not against that. I like Super Cruise as a general mechanic. I just think that being able to add in micro jumps is something there that could be made to respect people's time more and offer substantial quality of life improvement. So go ahead and tell me what your thoughts on this are in the comment section down below. Before to, Be sure to like, subscribe, tell me how I'm wrong, downvote the video, whatever it is that you do. And there will be more Elite Dangerous content coming onto my channel when 2.4 Beta goes live later this month. Until then, see you next time.